For the second day in a row, China issues dominated stock picking here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. On Wednesday, it was concerns about factory activity in China. By Thursday, it was the Apple profits warning, very rare and taken as somewhat of a bombshell. Apple suggesting it will sell 5 million iPhones, fewer than anticipated around what we know of as the Christmas and New Year holiday period. Add to that the issue of the ISM manufacturing survey that came out during the course of the day. It was still showing expansion in U.S. manufacturing, but at its lowest level for two years. That was the point that stocks really sold off on Thursday. So at the end of the session, then, we had the Dow down 2.8%, the Nasdaq off by 3%, and the S&P 500 down by 2.4%. Apple was down 9 to 10% at the end of the session. Other stocks that trade with China, like Boeing, Caterpillar, 3M, and Intel, also having a very, very bad day. In Europe on Thursday, the FTSE was down 6 tenths of 1%, the DAX off by 1.5%, and the CAC 40 in Paris down by 1.6%. And it was that Apple profits warning that really dominated trading in Europe on Thursday, as it did on Thursday in the United States. Now, the next chance to trade in New York will be on Friday morning at 9.30. And an hour before that, we'll get the single biggest piece of economic data anywhere in the world. That is the monthly jobs report produced by the Labor Department in the U.S. We're looking for 177,000 new jobs. If that's what happens, or it's better than that, we'll show that the U.S. economy is in robust health, despite what happens here on the floor of the exchange. John Terrence, CGTN, New York.